kids interested in learning. That's by making it fun and interactive. For an increasing number of teachers, getting to that moment has become a global journey, but it's one they can... It was really cool to see. I would love for my kids to have this in their yeah. classroom. I asked Amy who her dream Skypes were. She said, uh, Scott Kelly, of course, who's astronaut at oh, the International yeah, Space course. Station, and the president. She said, how mm. cool would it be for the kids to actually have a chat with the White House? She has sent letters. She hasn't heard back. But in case anybody at the White House or the International Space Station is watching, <laughs> you have third graders in Ardsley, New York, who are ready for you. This, is makes, this makes getting on the bus and going to the firehouse seem so old-fashioned, right? It does a little bit, although what she was saying is it's, it's also a great way to sort of integrate. She gave the example of China. So they'll Skype with other kids in Hong Kong, but then they'll supplement that, too, because they're studying China in third grade and social okay. studies with a trip to see a performance by a Chinese dance, dance troupe. Oh, very cool. And so she loves that it's sort of an additional dimension and a lot cheaper than field trips these days, which we know is, is a concern right. for a lot of schools. It's a great idea. Uh, let's get back to Chuck Todd. And See you then. And one more programming note for you. Tomorrow on only on today. Thanks, everyone, for being with us this weekend. Carl, nice to have great you here you this guys. weekend. Thanks, Thanks for having Thanks me. Thanks for filling in. Uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a great day, everybody. And we'll see you tomorrow.